a mat pad over it, film theorist. Put that out. Oh, two weeks ago. I'm mostly through that video. And, uh, I already know what season five should be about. <laughs> Reagan needs to have a serious fucking chat with a psychiatric professional. Maybe even an exorcist. Who the fuck knows? But Rick's got deep fucking problems. I know what those problems are. The problem is that he's not addressing his pain. I mean, he'll voice it out loud, but he won't focus on it, resolve it, and get the fuck through it. So as boring, and as meandering, and as much of a, a rating bomb <laughs> that it might be, Rick needs to have some resolution for his own emotional and psychological problems. <sighs> Fuck's sake. You can't have that all in one fucking episode. Serialized episodic combination that precedes slowly over the course of whatever whether it's one season or multiple seasons but Rick definitely needs some resolution of his own pain and suffering hmm hey they could even take evil Morty in on that one Nobody has a full backstory on him yet. Of course, it would really suck just to wrap it up with a fucking blaster shot through the face. Like with Tammy. But then again, she earned that one. <laughs> she made Rick go to a fucking wedding. <laughs> What ideas can be given for, <laughs> I don't fucking know, but what I've already said, Rick needs to face himself and his own pain that he keeps avoiding. his incredible hatred of going to a psychiatric therapist you know fuck it have a friend sit down and talk with him <laughs> you don't have to go to a fucking therapist to face yourself emotionally and psychologically and you most certainly as fuck don't need goddamn pills But you do need to face yourself. No matter who the fuck you are. <laughs> so with season 5, I definitely believe that Rick needs to do some serious facing of himself and resolving of his own psychological and emotional and mental problems. In whatever zany way that the guys making the show want to throw in there. Just for shits and gigs. Do something fun with it. <laughs> but he definitely needs some resolution on what he's got going on. <clears throat> because from what I've seen, he's not a coward. There's nothing wrong with not facing pain. Especially if you know you're not ready to face it. 
I mean, it might terrify Rick because he might not have the psychological and emotional tools for it. I've seen people who go their whole lives and never develop the tools to deal with psychological or emotional pain. A lot of you are called snowflakes, by the way. Yeah, get the fuck over yourselves. No one cares. There's too many people on this planet. It's already overpopulated way too much. There's too much bullshit to give a fuck about, you know, the vast majority of new people being born who don't have the fucking emotional and psychological fortitude to face themselves. So why the fuck care? Natural selection is going to happen with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> but if it happens with Rick, the series ends. Because it's literally called Rick and Morty. And you can't have Rick and Morty without Rick, now can you? So, we have to delay natural selection or sidestep it entirely. Oh, yeah, and... I, I don't give a fuck if you signed over to Disney, the, the, the intellectual property. Yet yeah, don't let them tell you what the fuck to say and what the fuck not to say. If you want to call someone a bitch in the show, call them a fucking bitch in the show. Don't censor it. That's what immediately attracted me to Rick and Morty in the first place. It dared to be edgy when everyone was being a, a fucking SJW snowflake piece of shit. He was like, okay, yeah, fuck you, I don't care. I'm gonna do what the fuck I'm gonna do and you can just go eat shit and die for all I care. Also, Hey, yeah, jackasses over at Disney. If the writers need to take a fucking break in order to come back with something really fucking good, let them take a year fucking break in order to recharge and come back with something fucking good. Okay? Just let that shit the fuck go. <laughs> you can't rush true fucking art, now can you? Oh yeah, and that's a direct quote from one of your own Disney movies. You can't rush art. Yeah, so go fuck yourself, Disney. Yeah, give them the fucking time they need, and for all the fans, yeah, go fuck you too. Be patient, you fucking bitches. But anyway, yeah, I thoroughly believe Season 5 needs Rick to start facing himself and resolving his own problems and pains. Because they're definitely there. Well, that's it for this video. <laughs> uh, what is it? Dan Harmon and whoever the fuck the other guy is writing with the show? Hey, you guys have fun with that idea. Now bend it over and fuck it in the ass for all I care. Have fun with it. Till next time, fuck off. Oh, yeah, and like, dislike, share, subscribe, turn on the fucking notification bullshit. Yada yada yada, links in the description, throw money my way so I can buy equipment to do more dumb shit and get entirely drunk with it with. In no particular order. Well, fuck off till next time. <laughs>